And I love saying radio. That's the only thing to do it. Like, there's nobody to do radio. And I said it. Nicki Minaj, Nicki Minaj, Dirty Money, Young Money, The Mystics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess who be princess? And um, uh, who's on the line? 404. That's me, princess. How you doing? Hey, what's going on, mommy? Am I calling too early? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> You you right on time, man. You right on time. That's what's going on. So how are you feeling today? I'm good. You good? Good. Just finished um uh eating some crab legs and shrimp, you know. Um, but uh everything's good. Been working on the grind, you know. Can't complain. Okay. All right, what city are you in right now? I'm in Atlanta right now. I'm home. Oh, okay, you in the ATL. Okay, that's what's up. So is um what are you working on as far as like um your projects right now or like mixtapes or uh, music wise? Okay, well music wise, I got a uh, DJ screen is hosting um, PSA Public Streets announcement. Um, it has a uh, Gangsta Boo on there, Young Ralph, Titty Boy from Player Circle, um, Shawty Low, Young Cash, you signed to Nappy Boy, you know, and of course me. Um, it's a lot of different feels to that mixtape or whatever, and I feel like I want to experiment more in my music, so my uh-huh. next mixtape is going to be Digital World. And that's more um, up-tempo, rhythmic type, but I, I'm not going to lose my audience, you know. I'm going I'm to do it in a crafty way. Okay. Okay, so when you say you're going to experiment, you mean you're going to, like, reach out, like, as far as, like, different genres, like pop music or something like that? Yeah, I would say pop, but, you know, usually when you say pop, people, oh, my gosh, he's crossing over. But really, pop music is just popular music. So I want to yeah. make music for the masses, something that can be on rhythmic radio as well as urban radio, you know. So I just feel like I'm ready to reach a, a bigger audience, you know. Okay. All right, I think if we I have high def. Huh? I think we have High Def in the building. What's going on, mommy? Hey, what's up? It's High Def. What's going on? We have Princess on the line. Hey, what up, mama? Yeah, what's how you up? doing? Hey, how you doing? Good, good, so, good. so as far as like mixtapes and albums, do you have like a like a preference? Would you do you like that you prefer to do like a mixtape over an album, or it's pretty much the same to you? Um, really. I treat my mixtapes like albums. They take me a long time. I think um, my brother Lil J has rubbed off his perfection uh, standards to me, and mm-hmm. I go through songs. I listen to them, write. I mean, I, of course I write them, I record them, listen to them, write around to them, and then I'll hear something in the mix that I don't like or I'll hear something that I did with my voice that I don't like. So it tends to take me a lot of time. As far as everything else, I mean, I like recording an album. It feels it feels the same when recording, but I've never been able to put out an independent album yet. That's my next thing that I want to do. You know, I've okay. done the major labels, but I really feel like independent is the way to go now, depending okay. on what you're trying to do. Okay. So um, why, why do you feel like, um, well, not... Um, this is my personal opinion. I think that females, you know, have a harder time in, in hip hop than, you know, their their counterpart males do. So why do you how how do you feel? Do you think women get their fair chance or do uh you know, the powers that be kinda of make things harder? Yeah, I I definitely think it's harder. I have been in the position, you know, in the group with another female and I still saw the difference with that, you know. People have been brainwashed to cater to lighter females, and that's no diss to anybody. Um, It's just something that I had to see. You know, growing up, I've always been told, you're pretty for a light, um, for a dark-skinned girl. Like, I don't Uh know if that's an insult or a compliment, you know. So I had to Uh deal with that in my personal life. But as far as females in general, I definitely think that it's, it's harder. You know, they want you to look a certain way. You know, everybody... Mostly everybody that came out before, you know, they had that sexy edge appeal, you know, or it was either the sexiness was driven or it was the 
rocking the Tams and jeans, you know, when we were yeah. four. And it was kind of hard for people to actually be themselves, you know. So, And then it's not that many of us doing it. And we don't do yeah. it for a long time. I think sometimes females don't have that same grind mentality that males do. Yeah. You know, we're females. We, we want to go home after a couple of cities, you know, unless you're doing a promo. But it's it's a lot more that comes with being a female MC. Okay. And, um, like, as far as, um, you know, there's a – it seems like, that you know, there's, like, a, a few females that are getting all the attention right now. How do you feel about, um, like, Nicki Minaj and the Little Kim beef that's going on with them and, and Little Kim saying that she, she should pay homage to her? Honestly, um, not to choose sides, but on the outside looking in, because I don't know either one of their situations, I don't think Nikki did it on purpose to, to bash Kim. I don't think – I think she has paid homage in her own way. She probably didn't announce it to the world, thank you, little Kim, but people see the comparisons. It's, it's, you would be blind to not see, you know, the comparisons of the picture that she did on her mixtape or, you know, and then she's from up north too. So the, the tone will kind of stay the same. The delivery will probably be the same. You know, it's just, you know, when she was growing up, I feel like she probably listened to Kim and it kind of rubbed off, and there's nothing wrong with that. I just mm-hmm. think Kim probably went a little too far into wanting acknowledgement, especially if Nikki's been heard or videotaped saying thank you for everybody who's paved the way for us. You know, yeah. that should be enough unless she wants her own birthday cake, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand that because people are feeling because she does the colored hair and stuff like that, like Lil' Kim, yeah. like she's trying to bite, but it ain't nothing like that. I, I feel that. But like Jada Kid said, um, I think he made the most valid point. Because mm-hmm. um, yeah. he's cool with both of them, but he said, you know, Kim, uh, Nikki been doing that. Yeah. And, you know, why, why say it now? Why you didn't address that before she got this big, you know? Yeah. I was like, yeah, well, maybe part of it, part of it would probably stem from being a female and having an insecurity. Um, it could stem from her trying to get back on, and that'd be the way to do it. But in yeah. my eyes, you know, if that's what you want to do, use the music to do it. You know, you yeah. you go back to your old style and show people where she got it from. Mm-hmm. You know, and that'll silence everything because when when guys be they take it to the music. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah, that's the yeah. only thing I wish they would do. Now, if they did take it to the music, oh, no, we're in that one. <laughs> 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 Don't quote me on it, but I think, I think Nikki might get her. I don't, you know. Cause, wow. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she has so many different styles. It's like she, she could... She might just do a whole accent for five minutes straight and, you know, just go crazy. You never know. Like, she's still so unpredictable. Yeah. You know, so I'm not wow. I'm trying to put no fuel to the fire, but <laughs> the, the fire is blazing now. <laughs> it's blazing now. Yeah, yeah, it's blazing. I mean, no, I mean, I mean that that would just be a good a good, like a, you know, 50, if 50 in game went at it again or something, everybody will pick sides. I mean, in yeah. reality, it's yeah. like society forces you to pick sides. And that's another thing I think that's wrong with the females because we can't, for some reason, the world won't let us have more than one at a time. Yeah. You know, and it's enough lane for everybody. But if they did go at it, I might have my popcorn for that one. <laughs> 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 I'm going to stay out of it, but <laughs> you're going to be watching. I will be watching. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that help us say it. Like, oh, no, no. <laughs> wow, that's funny. That is too funny, man. Wow, but um, it's it's good to hear that you get you know you you gonna you give your your own opinion. A, a lot of people might dodge the question. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people want to be politically correct, you know. Yeah. And yeah. That's cool, you know. Um, that's cool, but.
but I blame it on media training. I haven't had media training in a minute, so I'm going to blame it on that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> when people ask you questions, they want the realest answer you could give them without yeah. tearing somebody else down, and I don't think I've torn anyone down. I just, I'm just yeah. giving my opinion. I'm on the outside looking in, too. I'm a spectator, too, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, all right, that's the up. So if if you wasn't doing like hip hop and rap and stuff acting. like that, what 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 would you acting. be doing? Acting. Oh, okay. Hands down, like literally, um, acting was my first passion. It still is my first passion. I take acting classes every week. Mm. Um, I've done auditions. They have me on their uh, in their file or whatever whenever they need me. That's that's really what comes even more effortless than rapping does. Because when I started rapping, it was never, and no offense to anybody else, but just in in speaking for me, I never grew up saying I wanted to be a rapper. Yeah. I loved it. Yeah. I, I'm a music person. I'm a music fan. But acting was so passionate for me. So when the song, when Nucky If You Buck blew up, you know, we was in, in high school, ninth, tenth grade. You know, I didn't think that was going to be a lifestyle for real. I was still working at McDonald's paying the <laughs> to pay our song, you feel me? And getting yeah. every t-shirt and stuff. So I didn't ever think it was going to become a career, and it took off so fast at such a young age. We were catered to a lifestyle that none of us were ready for. You yeah. know, so it's become a job now. You know, you got you got fans now. You can't go anywhere without somebody asking you what's going on with the group, what y'all finna do. You know, and I've really taken this time, this downtime, and it's really been a blessing because I'm getting time to actually see who I am, see, figure out what it is I really want to do. You know, I'm kind of at a crossroads with yeah. this thing, and I, I really appreciate this time. A lot of people look at it as, you know, crime up, fell off, or whatever, whatever. Like, we, we did crazy numbers for yeah. every album. You know, we yeah. were the first yeah. ones to ever go platinum. On, on ringtones, that was, we would escape ghosts, the dummies, the, you know, test monkeys for all of that stuff. So we did numbers, but at the same time, I've seen a lot of BS in the in the industry. Yeah. And it's gotten to the point where, it's, oh, I want to I wanna see this through, but at the same time, I'm more passionate in my acting, and I know the music can be a stepping stone. So I'm just trying to do both at the same time. Yeah. Okay. All right, so um, I, we, I know that I think it's uh, Tom Cruise's wife. What's her What's her name again? Um, uh, Katie Holmes. Katie Holmes. Yeah, she's, Katie playing, Holmes. Um, she's playing. She's uh, playing Miss uh, Miss uh, one of the Ken, um, uh, the Kennedy, right? So if you had to pick a role that you that you think you would be perfect for, what what would that role be? Oh my goodness! Honestly, yeah, I would love, 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 love if. If someone ever did a movie of, um, I can't even think of her name now. Oh, <laughs> my goodness. She she played in What's Love Got to Do With It? Angela Bassett. If oh, okay. someone ever did a movie on her life, I would love to do that. I'd do that for free. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. I mean, you know, I'm saying it, but uh, you got to pay me a little bit. But I'd do that as close to nothing. Because mm-hmm. I love the way she acts. Um, I would love to do um, dramatic film. I'm not okay. a big fan of the stereotypical black comedy. Sad yeah. to say, but it's it's almost degrading in a way. Well, like, you know? like Tyler, like Tyler Perry. The Tyler Perry. It's it's cool to a certain like the Why Did I Get Married? I love that, but like the Medeas, I'm not a big fan of. You know, I love the success that it's gotten and it's made Atlanta um, get looked at for for actors and stuff. But at the same time, like, the the messages are good. I'm, I'm glad that he always has a, a message in it. But, like, yeah. the stereotypical grandmother, everybody's grandma ain't like that in the South, for real. I mean, the humor <laughs> sometimes is a little bit like the blackface thing, you know? Yeah. And I know, you know, we can do a lot better than, you know, what we've seen. Okay. Uh, hey, I Jeff, I'm I'm asking I'm 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 asking all the questions. You you have any questions you want to um, ask, Princess? 
Um, I, I got in on the tail end of it. I was going to ask about mixtapes and stuff like that, projects you coming up with and stuff like that. Okay, Have you already okay. discussed that already? Yeah. Um, we... A little bit. I'm also coming <laughs> out with a book. Um, okay. About? about? A book, um, exercise DVD real soon, a cookbook. You know, I'm I'm doing a lot more than just act, uh, rapping right now. Of course, the acting is a big priority in my life. But behind the scenes, um, doing a couple of open mics around the city, um, mm-hmm. giving other people a chance, because a lot of people just want to be heard. And I, yeah. I'm really trying to focus on cities outside of Atlanta, like the Macon and Dublin and, you know, Birmingham, and bringing the peers that I know, the Young Ralphs, the Charlie Lowe's, the Gucci Waka, to actually sit in and judge the talent. You know, because okay. people really give their all. You know, and it, it's it's good money in that too. So definitely. Yeah. And, I had, and I had to like uh, get at to you on your comment that you made because you were saying you've been dealing with it um, personally with people telling you, oh, you you cute for for dark skin girl stuff like that. I've been dealing with that shit too since um, yeah. growing up and stuff like that. So it, it's crazy, but I, I'm the one out here doing it in Austin, Texas, the most. Even though yeah. my skin it's is dark. Yeah, it's almost like racism in a way because if a white man said that to a light skinned black girl, she would be offended, you know. And it's yeah. the same thing. You judge me off of my skin color, you know. Yeah. So it still exists to this day amongst us, you know. Mm. Females think the light skinned guy is cuter because they gonna have babies with pretty hair and all this other stuff. And yeah. I've been a victim. Of, I mean, not a victim, but. I've been in that same boat, you know, so I'm not just pointing fingers, but it's it's almost what we're trained to to believe and and to take in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I've always been the opposite, though. I, I've always been the opposite. I, I always like the dark skin girls. I don't know. All right. Well. <laughs> chocolate is back. Tell them chocolate is back. <laughs> yeah, most. Yeah, and most and, at the same time, you know, I look on my MySpace page or something or just YouTube comments or even out in the street. If it is a dark skin comment, it's, oh, you African Nubian queen goddess. Like, yeah. I mean, I ain't never been south than Miami. Like, that's a bull, too. Like, what are you talking about? Oh, you just Nubian. God, it's so I, I always, style. I always like, get that on, one. Man. Always get what, what country are you from? Like, why can't I be from yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, I'm straight from Atlanta. Shout it like, come on, man. <laughs> it's it's, it's <laughs> more opposites, and I don't know how to take them sometimes. So I just, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> move, move around, move around. <laughs> hey, so like, dude, like you, you, you're from the ATL, right? So do you go to like? Walmart and stuff like that. Do you shop by yourself, or do you do you always? Yeah, do you... yeah. I mean, even even when the group was on TV all the time, I've I've always had humble people around me. My my little sister, since she was five, told me I wasn't famous until I met Raven Simone and Michael Jackson. You know, so <laughs> <laughs> that kind of kept me in line. I don't care who was on the show with us. You know, she never cared about all of that. But, you know, I've always kept good, humble people around me. So at the end of the honestly, I don't feel like I'm a celebrity okay. unless I'm on the stage. I just can't wrap my head around being a different person because I rap, you know. Mm-hmm. I just mm-hmm. feel lucky enough that a song caught on at the time that it did and we had to run with it, but I, of course, I, I just came from Publix. They had a, a crab leg sale, so I went down there for that. But Walmart, <laughs> then, you know, they got the best prices. What are you saying? You know, I don't do the whole uh, too good. shopping in Buckhead thing or, you know, just eating at the lavish restaurants. No, if I want some seafood and I'm right by Red Lobster, I'm going to go to Red Lobster instead of going to Spud and Divots. That's just the type of person I am, you know. So that's not going to change. So when people see you, do they like, uh, you know, bother you like, while you while you shopping and stuff? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Sometimes mm-hmm. they'll just look, and I just shake my head like, yeah, 
Oh, I knew it. And then they started talking. I was like, oh, I should have just said that's my cousin. They <laughs> used to work for a little minute. But um, it's crazy now that I haven't been, um, you know, in the limelight. People notice me more because I've changed my hair a lot. And uh-huh. I really don't think people will notice me. And when they do, it's still kind of surprising. Like, oh, un- y'all ain't seen me in three years. So I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't get it. But, I mean, I guess Karma still has a good fan base. And the fans are still out there wanting more. So we're going to give it to them. Of course. So where, yeah, yeah. So where's the group? Where, where does the group stand right now as far as Crime Mob? And who, I is, can't is, is, stand None of the underplay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stand they good. No. Um, <laughs> honestly, we're doing better than we were before. You know, me and Diamond weren't on speaking terms at all for a good little minute. Um, uh-huh. but we we've come to an understanding. We um we all have respect for each other. We might not be um around each other all the time, but we call each other every now and then. You know, I text Diamond the other day for the holiday. She texts me. Um, so we're we're kind of trying to get that relationship back because if we just did it for the fans, it'd be cool, but it wouldn't last long because that foundation wouldn't be there. And yeah. I'm all about, you know, family and how things feel. And a lot of people, like, since we went our separate ways, it's like, oh, it's the money. Don't even, you ain't got to talk to nobody. Just I'm like, no, because the fans aren't dumb. The camera yeah. isn't dumb. You know, y'all will see right through that, and it it won't work at all. So we're we're building, but everybody's doing their thing right now. Diamond's doing her thing right now. Um, I think she's got an album coming out soon. So, you know, everybody's just supporting everybody, and we got to keep it moving because that drama ain't putting money in nobody's pocket anyway. So, yeah. you know, we if, if, you don't, if, you, if you don't mind me asking, what originally started, like, the rift between the group or between you, 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 you two? Um, honestly, with the group, I think, let me be politically correct on this one. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Let me give y'all the industry (laughs) answer. No, um, looking back at it, it was a lot of stuff. You know, Mm -hmm. when we recorded the first album, we did it in two weeks. You know, we didn't know about the splits. We didn't know about what everybody gets. Yeah. Me and my brother knew about it because we were the two most business savvy people in the group. Uh-huh. Um, you know, so I read up and stuff about it. So I knew, you know, producers would get the most, you know, whoever did the hooks. But I wasn't a strong hook writer, and I wasn't a producer, so I stayed in my lane. My yeah. brother did most of the beats, and, you know, the guys did the hooks, you know. Yeah. So that first album, we did it in two weeks. All of them songs we already recorded at my parents' house. You yeah. know, so we already had yeah. that formula down pat. So by the time we went in there, boom, bam, bam, we was done in two weeks. Once the check started getting cut, it was like, oh, <laughs> Lil' Jay gets 58% on every song, and we got to split, you know, 40% from three people, I mean, five people. So, you know, when people started buying cars and apartments and stuff, that's when you could really see who was getting what. Yeah. So that second album, it was like, okay, well, bump that. I'm finna get on every song. I'm finna try to do a beat. That was everybody's mentality. Instead of trying <laughs> to make the best records, everybody was, and it's six people. Six people cannot get on every song. Yeah. You know, so people's verses got cut. You know, if you, if we, we always did it, whoever finished writing first and recorded, that's what was on the song. Yeah. You know, so the ones yeah. that were, a little bit slower in writing, nine times out of ten, if you ain't just show off on that song, you got cut. And it didn't have anything to do with us. That was, you know, the mixers and stuff. Yeah. So that happened, and then we got on, we went on tour. That was cool, but we kind of started seeing differences. You know, people had their own fans, um, individual fans. Of course, everybody always said, oh, the girls make the group, you know. So that was yeah. kind of stuff on the boys with them always hearing that. Then yeah. they were always going to jail, you know. That was been, <laughs> that wasn't mine or Diamond's fault. Uh-huh. You know, so they saw us the most. And I think that was a big difference. You know, they saw us the most. So they became fans of us a little bit easier. 
And yeah. then, you know, after that, with the money, we was getting so much money uh, when we first started. <laughs> we was getting so much money that I didn't want to see money. I didn't yeah. want to, okay, just put it in my account. I don't care. How much is it? Okay, show me the receipt, show me the contract, and put it in my account, whatever. Uh-huh. It got to the point where we were still in school, and we were missing days, and my parents didn't play that. Like, we still had to go to school, and I still had to maintain a 3.6 GPA in <laughs> AP classes. So, you know, mama wasn't playing. So yeah. we was like, okay, look, we're going to have a group meeting, and we're going to tell Johnny to stop booking the shows. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he stopped booking the shows, and I think that was one of our biggest upsets because when them shows stopped, you know, d well and them came out, and Franchise came out, and, yeah. you know, all them other groups came out. So we weren't the only young group in there. And at that time, it was survival mode. Yeah. So I would book shows for the group. I would book shows for me and Diamond. Diamond would book shows for herself. I would book shows for the boys and get a, a booking fee. You know, it was, a, it was a survival thing for everybody, and it became a habit. And then when somebody was getting a show and nobody else wasn't, you know, that's when I guess the jealousy started. But, okay. I mean, we were young and nobody told us to save money or invest money into CDs or invest in real estate. You know, we was 16, 17 years old, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I had the pleasure of, I've, I've, I've actually had the pleasure of seeing you guys perform. Um, I, I, I saw you perform at um, All Hip Hop Week. Um, that was maybe what two, maybe like two, two or three oh, years ago. Oh, in New ago? York. Yeah, in New York. Oh my goodness, I got a story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they didn't say about the boys, did they? What happened? They didn't say anything about the boys. No. Like, anything bad? Okay. Okay. Mm. Yeah. No. But uh, but the body was uh, the body was right the the body was looking right most definitely. Oh no, not that. <laughs> you gotta see it now. That help is stupid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what? I gotta find my mama and slap her. That body's so stupid. I'm just playing. But yeah, I mean, I've been, the, <laughs> I've been in the gym. You know, I really I don't think people really understand me when I say I really look at this downtime as a blessing because if I was to, at the time me and Diamond fell out, um, Mm. it was other stuff that happened, you know, with the label situation and, you know, Scrappy being our boss, sort of, uh, we were signed to him and Bay Day and, you know, it was a lot of stuff that held me back anyway. Yeah. So, um with all of that for a, for the longest time, I'm like, God, why? Like, what is going on? Am I not supposed to be doing this? And I really had to separate myself from all the negativity, from all the bloggers, from all the naysayers, and actually take out time to see what I wanted to do, who I am as a person, what message do I want to get across, and how I want to do it in a way that nobody else is doing it right now. Because... Yeah. You know, females tend to, we we tend to stick on the same subject. You know, if you get too conscious with it, you a Lauren Hill. Or if I do. If you get too sexy with it, you a Trina or a Lil' Kim. If you get too hood with it, you a Gangsta Boo or a Lil' Chat. Yeah. You know, and we, it's so sensitive when we record because you want to get out what you want to get out, but you almost got to play some type of role and for the longest I felt like I had to play some type of role and honestly if I just do me nobody can copy that anyway yeah exactly I'll be doing me and it took me a long time to figure that out so I'm I'm really glad I had this time to chill out but it's it's been a little hiatus and I'm back so <laughs> Time to shut so, him up. <laughs> all right. Um, we 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 got a call. Hold on for a second. Let's see if we can get him on the line. 312, what's the dilly? What's going on? Yeah, what's good? How you doing? Who's this? Yo, this is Hakeem, my day. Hey, Hakeem, what's going on, man? How are you? Man, good, and you? I'm good, I'm good. We got Princess on the line. You got any, uh, and you want to shout at her for a second? 
Oh, yeah, first I want to um, say what up to Idef. What's up, Idef? Hey, how you doing, honey? Good, good, good. Oh, yeah, most definitely. How you doing, princess? How you doing? Good, good. You you bringing that um that crunk swag swag back? The crunk swag? It yeah, the crunk swag. Not, not too crunk because, you know, I was fighting when I was 16, 17. You know, I'm licensed to carry now, so. <laughs> no, but uh, it'll be a little different. It's not going to be, you know, nucking and bucking, but it's going to be in that same type of field. Oh, that's what's happening. Yeah, you know, you can't fight forever. You know, it's I've grown, so it's a little bit other stuff that I, I want to talk about. Okay. You have any other questions? Uh, me? Uh, Nah, yeah. nah, that, <laughs> not off the top of my head, nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Where you say you from? Oh, I'm from Chicago. Oh, okay, Chi-Town. Yeah, Chi-Town's in the house. Yeah, that was one of our biggest markets. Oh, wow. Love up there, much love, much love. Yeah, so so what are some... <laughs> Uh-huh. So what what are some of your new goals as far as like new new things that you want to accomplish as far as your career is concerned? Well, um, I want to be the first person to win a Grammy and an Oscar in the same year. I oh wow! Okay. I've been for the longest time, and I'm going to see that through. <laughs> I'm going to see that through. Okay. People used to tell me I was crazy for that, but you gotta you gotta aim for the stars. And if not me actually getting getting it, I'm going to be nominated, you know, so. Okay. All right, so as far as, are you are you single right now? Are you, you married or? I'm single tonight. I'm single. single. <laughs> I just had to cancel that. Hey, like Nina. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am. Um, it's a new feeling for me because, um, when I do love, I love hard, and it takes a lot out of me. And um, the last relationship that I was in, it was it took a lot out of me. Um, it, it was a lot to go with it, but right now I have to focus on my career. And I know sometimes it sounds selfish, but I really put my all into stuff. And okay. right now I need to be focused on my main goal, and that's my career. And, you know, love okay. will always find itself back to my heart. Okay. So if, if, if just just asking, what are three things that a guy has to have in order for you to be interested in him? Like a have to. Money, money, money. I'm just playing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Honestly, um, they, have to, they have to have God in their life. That's okay. What, that's the biggest thing for me. They have to... Um, they don't have to be millionaires, billionaires, not even hundred thousandaires, because usually those relationships don't last anyway. But um, so you talk, so, so you'll talk to, to a, stop. so you'll huh? talk to a, like a manager at McDonald's or something like that. Yeah, honestly, I would. And a lot of people think I'm, I'd be playing, but um, if they have a job and it's a good job, you know, with benefits. I'm good, you know. I don't need I don't need the uh, the red carpet guys that's in the industry. You know, I've been there, done that, and okay. really don't Last plan week. on doing that. You know, but the down to earth people that don't want princess but want Vanita, you know, I I got you all day. You know, <laughs> you know. So they have to have a job. They gotta have God in their life, and they have to make me laugh. Okay. Because I'm. I'm a goofy person when I want to be. They just have to have a good heart and have to know how to make me laugh. Like Jamie Foxx make you laugh or or Will Smith make you laugh? <laughs> like, they don't have to overly do it, uh, but like a, like a Cedric the Entertainer funny. Okay. okay. <laughs> the man just do a look and be like, oh, man, this fool. Like, you know that old school funny just. It comes from the heart, you know. Yeah. Oh, no. It comes natural. So, so, <laughs> so she don't make it impossible for the guys. Like, there's a lot of females that put, like, the checklist 
of like three million things that they gotta have. Well, you gotta have abs. Oh, that's chili. Yeah. Like that's chili. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't do chili list, but um, you know, <laughs> I, I, that's the mission impossible. But yeah. um, you know, I guess she knows what she wants, and she's been through what she doesn't want. So I, mm-hmm. you know, it's somebody out there. But um, no, my checklist isn't hard. It's the only thing that's hard for me now is actually knowing if they really here for me or for the limelight because, yeah. you know, a lot of people think it's just all glitz and glamour, like, oh, we're going to do red carpets and, yeah. um, you know, are you going to go to this award show and that award show? Like, honestly, if, you know, if I'm really not trying to be there, I'd rather watch it on TV. You know, I'm that type of person. I don't like being in the limelight 24-7. So yeah. I need somebody that's laid back with me. Okay. All right. That's what's up. So, so like, since you've become, like, you know, famous and everything, do you get family members asking you for money and stuff? <laughs> oh, no. My brother's rich, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you I get never have to get <laughs> Yeah, the other day he did all I beat. So, you know, when I was, I was happy, like, my first big check, and this really isn't, you know, that much, but my first, like, big, big eye-opening check for me was $15,000, because, you know, we got to split everything six ways, so the most yeah. you're going to get at a time would be, like, five or ten. Yeah. So, you know, me and my brother living in the same, our male goes to the same household, mm-hmm. so my daddy called me, he was like, you sitting down? I was like, yeah, what's wrong, what's up, what's up, what's up? You got a check. Oh, sure, how much is, how much is? They got three zeros and a comma. <laughs> so he was like, it's 15000 I'm like, oh, shoot, here we go. I was sweating, crying, hugging people. You know, so I was like, okay. Uh, Tundra said, open hands up, open hands up. Wow. He got 90000 I was like, oh. <laughs> wow. You know, so seeing the difference, like, the group never really saw the actual numbers that yeah. everybody else got unless you wanted to tell them. But, you know, that's my brother, you know, so I've always seen it. But, of course, I can't knock him. You know, he's the reason why we are where we are now. Yeah. But, yeah, yeah so people don't ever ask me for money. You know, it ain't no, I can't help it. You better go to the cash cow. I can't do it. Oh, you know you my cousin because you know Oprah had no, ain't no weight on my shoulder, ain't no weight, ain't. I mean, (laughs) that's a blessing in itself. I can ask him for money, you know. Just give me another twenty five, okay? And then he doesn't go anywhere. Like he, he, we're so opposite because he'll buy bottled water, Uh like once every three months, and Mm -hmm. then just refill it with tap water (laughs) and put it back in the refrigerator. Like, the little stuff that he does is mind-boggling to me. But, you know, that's how he he saves his money. He's always saved his money. So, he, you know, he's straight. He's he's good. Okay. He's good. So, now nah, they don't ever have to ask me. Because, <laughs> you know, just because people see you on TV, they think you're like a millionaire, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah. I get that all the time. Like, if y'all yeah. only knew, even the ones with the money don't have all the money. You know, because yeah, exactly. a lot of them rent, you know, rent cars, rent houses, lease them for, you know, six months. But nobody ever sits back to see that. You know, yeah. they only look at the right now. So there's a lot of people out there that's fooling a lot of people. Houses <laughs> fit on cribs and everything. You know, <laughs> but, you know, I'm not that type of person where you, you, I don't feel like you have to live your life for other people to ooh and ah about it. It's good yeah. to have nice things because I'm I love purses, you know. So that's my that's my thing, purses and shoes. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to the lavish jewelry, I mean, if you can do it, do it. More power to you. Yeah. But set yourself up for the long run. You never know what you can become paralyzed with something, you know, the next day, and you can't use your legs, or you can't use your voice, you can't use your talent, so set yourself up 
for, you know, whatever happens down the line instead yeah. of to right now. Because all these people got kids. Make sure all your kids are straight before you buy that lavish stuff that can't get you anything at the end of the day, you know. And yeah. once you die, you won't have any of that anyway. So I rather really make sure my family's taken care of and nobody wants for anything and, you know, just live life as normal as possible. Okay. All right. Not not be like Scott Storch and spend forty million. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so, uh, so um, we're 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 basically running out of time. So, like, where can the people find you? Like, um, yeah, on on Twitter and like Facebook and all of that. Yes, uh, Twitter dot com slash Princess Digital. Um, Facebook dot com slash Princess Digital. And uh, 404, I'm just playing now. But, yeah, those, those two are good. And, you know, I so just, can producers contact you, uh, if, if you if they have beats for you or something like that? or? No, pay me before you submit it. And no, nah, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, Princess Digital 411 at gmail. Say that again? Say that again, I'm sorry. Princess Digital. Four one one at Gmail. Okay. All right. So for producers, you want to send Princess some beats? You know, she just gave the email. Keep that out. Yeah. Just don't overload it with, you know, um, <laughs> you know, when you give any kind of contact out, sometimes it it can get a little overwhelming. And producers, yeah. I don't know if everybody can hear me, but yeah. you know. Some people know, how can I say this? <laughs> um, if you've been producing for a while and you let other people hear it and they like it, you know, go ahead and send it. Yeah. But I've had some people where I would listen to it, and I actually listen to every beat and try to open up every email I can. Sometimes I block off a whole day for just beats and drops for DJs. Mm-hmm. So um, if if I'm actually taking a whole day to do that, please try to send your best representation of you. You exactly. know, it don't have to be the whole beat because I know how producers are, and, you know, you can do a snippet. That's cool. But if it sounds like your three-year-old cousin was just banging on, you know, the piano <laughs> for Walgreens, you know, you you kind of cage it, I guess, you know, because I just need the best representation because you only, with with the industry, you only really got one shot. Yeah. So you got a couple of seconds to grasp somebody's attention. So grasp it and and take it to the stars, you know. So, That's so yeah, hit me up on that email. That's what's up. And we definitely appreciate the time. It was great, your, great talking to you. And it was definitely glad to see you uh, coming back with, with music and everything. Yes, yes. Be on the lookout for the PSA mixtape, Public Streets announcement, hosted by DJ Scream, Digital World coming out real soon, um, and a lot more in the making, a lot more in the making. Thank Most y'all for definitely. having me. No problem at all. Anytime. All right. Uh we just we just spoke to uh Princess.